shit, yeah, they bread stank. Walk up in the club, dripping like I'm fresh paint. I can see through the facade like What's it going on, fight fans? It's another great day when you love MMA. Welcome back to Mad Maddie Fight Talk. So, UFC 276, going down July 2nd, 2022. The co-main event is a fight that I cannot wait for. I'm super hype about it. I've just been waiting for this rematch. Well, that's the third time they're fighting, actually. And we're talking about Alexander Volkanovsky versus Max Holloway. Two of the greatest featherweights to ever do it. Two of the baddest dudes in that division. And two guys who do not shy away from top-notch competition. Now, I got to tip my hat here to Alexander Volkanovsky because he's fighting Max Holloway for the third time. And he has statistically two wins over him. I mean, any fight fan who watched the second fight, unless you are an absolute diehard Volkanovsky fan, we all know Max Holloway won that. The first one could have gone either way. The second one, I mean, come on, man. Ma Max got robbed in that fight. I mean, if we're, if we're talking robberies, that is definitely up in the top 10 of, of, of a robbery. Max did an outstanding job in that fight. He, he was striking. He was landing leg kicks. He was doing what he needed to do to win the fight. Volkanovski, I mean, he was fighting a good fight. I believe Max did the more damage and did and landed more. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but I think a lot of people would agree with me on that. But regardless, Volkanovski got the win. He has two wins over a guy like Max Holloway, who is no easy fight at all. I don't think anybody in that division would want to face Max Holloway. So for him to even take this fight, I got to give credit where credit's due, and I respect you for that. And I think... Honestly, Volkanovski might think that he didn't win that third, uh, the second fight. So that's why he is giving a third chance. Now he's saying, you know, why wouldn't I take the fight against Max Holloway? It's a massive payday. I'm looking, I'm looking for what happens afterwards. Like I'm going to get a lot of pay, a lot of notoriety, and possibly be the greatest featherweight of all time. I mean, you beat Max three times. You're, you're, you're definitely taking over that, the top of that division talk. You know what I mean? When we're talking about who is the greatest featherweight, you would definitely. Get the get the get the notch above him and Jose Aldo in that conversation, but a lot of fans know you lost the second fight. Regardless, Alexander Volkanovski is twenty four and one. He's on a twenty one fight win streak. The dude is a monster, and he is not an easy guy to beat, and has only one loss. I mean, he's not even an easy guy to fight. You can't do anything. We we all saw what happened uh, April 9th when he took on the Korean Zombie. I mean, it was it was a one-sided landslide victory. From the very first punch thrown in that fight, we all knew Volkanovski was going to win. I mean, he he put Korean Zombie like a deer in the headlights on his on his heels the whole fight, landed bombs, and there was absolutely no answer for that. Now, the fight before that, he fought Brian Ortega September twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. Really good fight. Brian had him in some serious, serious danger of losing that title. He locked in some nasty submissions. And Volkanovski, showing that champion mindset and mentality, got out of those and ended up, you know, doing some serious damage to Ortega's face and got the W in that fight in an absolute war. One of my favorite championship fights to watch. Very impressive. I mean, he hasn't taken his foot off the gas after beating Max a second time. You know, he's going after these top-ranked dudes. So, got to respect that. Now, Max, on the other hand, after losing to Volkanovski, he took on Calvin Cater back in uh, January uh, 16, 2021, and put on a boxing clinic. I mean, he made Cater, who is an absolute monster in that division, who put the hype train of Giga Chikaze on hold, he made Cater look like a rookie. Just absolute nasty striking in that fight. And he made Cater take a one-year layoff because he did so much damage in that fight. I mean, Max phenomenal job super fun performance to watch then he took on a guy that is one of another very dangerous guy that has super super talented striking and technique Yair Rodriguez November uh, 13 2021 in an absolute war five round war that the striking was up and up but where Max showed some growth is that he started going for takedowns and implementing his wrestling. Max has a good ground game, but we don't see it often because his striking is so good. This fight is very interesting. Third time these guys are going around. I'm going to have to lean towards Max Holloway in this fight. And I'm just going to say that because of the competition that he's faced. Calvin Cater and Yaya Rodriguez are dangerous dudes, and he beat them decisively. Now, Volkanovski, I mean, he, he wasn't supposed to fight Korean Zombie. 
He was supposed to fight Max, but he ended up getting Korean Zombie. And let's be honest, we're we're talking about the you know Korean Zombie in his the end of his career run. So I'm not super impressed with the you know with with that victory. I mean, it's anything could happen. It's a fight, but honestly, you know, you won and you should have won that fight. So I think you got a freebie in that one. The Ortega fight, you know, he put you in some serious danger. Now, if we're looking at it, you know, every fight's different, but these guys have very common opponents. And when Max fought Ortega, it was a one-sided ass whooping. There was no danger of losing that fight. He literally just put on a clinic the same way he did against Cater. Now, these two specifically, the way they match up is pretty good. I mean, Alexander Volkanovsky for being so short, against a guy like Max, who's 5'11", and uh, Volkanovski's 5'6". He does a good job of closing the gap, landing leg kicks, and landing some nice strikes. I mean, he, he really does a good job of keeping Max at distance. Um, the, diff the, the thing about this fight, I think going to be different, is something's got to change. So if they're going to stand up, and if they're going to go tick for tack, Max has already lost twice trying to do that. So is Max going to put on a freaking pace where, where Volkanovski is going to do nothing but fold? And he's he going to land combos and just keep him on his back foot the whole time? Maybe. Or is he, Max going to try and wrestle him? Now, that's not an easy task against a guy who's built like Volkanovski. This dude is huge. And I'm curious to see if Volkanovski is going to try and wrestle Max, who has a really good ground game and jiu-jitsu. So, you know, anything could happen in this fight. But if I had to put my money on it, I'm going to say it's going to be a five-round decision. Max Holloway, I think Max Holloway is going to get the victory. He's going to have the edge in striking, and I think he's going to be able to mix it up very well on Volkanovski. Volkanovski has the power, but if you watch the last two fights, he doesn't land clean, clean shots on Max because Max's boxing is, is superb. His head movement is on point, and he never stands still, and he always switches stance. So he's a very hard guy for Volkanovski to, to get flat-footed. Now, Volkanovski, you know, to be honest, it has leveled up leaps and bounds since their first fight. So his striking is getting better. He looked extremely fast against Korean Zombie. I'm very excited to watch these guys fight. I used to not like Volkanovski that much because, you know, he beat Max the second time, got robbed, whatever. But that's not a reason not to like a guy. The guy's striking is great. Super big guy. Very good at getting out of dangerous situations. And honestly, dude, the record 24-1, that's insane. But I got to go with the guy from Hawaii. I'm from Hawaii. And I love watching Max fight, dude. I've been watching this guy since he was fighting in just scrap. And I seriously do believe that his striking is a level above Volkanovski, even though Volkanovski has leveled up. He's still just up. He's going to be a step behind. Now, the difference is who's going to win the ground game. Are these guys even going to go to the ground? Because, you know, Max could try and shoot for takedowns and try to get Volkanovski to the ground. Max has a good, solid jiu-jitsu, and that's where I think he has a better chance of winning. If Volkanovski takes this fight to the ground, I do believe Max will be able to get up or he will be able to submit Volkanovski. So either way, I think it's going to be extremely close, but I'm going to give the edge to Max Holloway in this fight. I do believe he's going to win. I think he just has a little bit more tools in the bag, and he has a lot of championship experience. So yeah, for the featherweight GOAT of all time, I got to go with Max Holloway winning this fight. Like always, guys, hit me in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this fight. Who do you guys see winning this battle? How do you guys see them winning? And if you haven't yet, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys soon. Hey, this talk of shit, yeah, they bread stank. Walk up in the club, dripping like I'm fresh paint. I could see through the facade like an